I want to pray over you right now. Some of you are under spiritual attack and you're fighting great battles. You're facing terrible enemies in the spirit and you're looking for relief and help. I want to come alongside of you and pray over you. Ephesians 6 and 10, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you to be strong in the power of the Lord and in the power of His might. I command you to realize that you have power, authority, and dominion in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command you to realize that the one thing and the only person that you can have faith in and trust in is the Lord Jesus Christ. Realize that you can put on the whole armor of God. You're not wrestling with flesh and blood. You're wrestling against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. I command that every attack that is against you by any principality and power and ruler of darkness of this world, any spiritual wickedness in high place be broken down right now. I command every attack of the enemy that is against you would be renounced, bound, hindered, and rebuked by the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth right now. I command that every attack that has come against your mind to hinder you, to hurt you, to buffet you would be broken and renounced and every demonic attack against you would be broken right now in the authority of the name of Jesus. I command that every attack that has come against you to destroy your purpose and your assignment of the Lord Jesus Christ be broken right now in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ right now. Be broken in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth right now. Take on the whole armor of God. You can stand in this day. You can stand in this evil day. Just keep standing. Gird your loins with truth. Put on the truth of God. Get the scriptures in your heart. Realize that God loves you above all else and He came to die on the cross so that you could be saved and you are His child and He loves you and He cares for you. He died on the cross and shed His blood for you that you could be His child. Rest assured, child, today that He loves you and He cares about you. He knows your name. He knows where you're at. He knows what you're going through. The enemy is the one that is the thief that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Jesus came that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Jesus is not against you. He's for you. He's not come to hurt you nor to harm you. He didn't come to take away. He came to bless and give that you might have life and have it more abundantly. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3-5, through 5, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Right now, I command that every attack that has come against your mind, body, soul, and spirit would be broken right now. I command that the weapons of our warfare rise up through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Every imagination that's come against us, every demonic attack that's come against your mind, against your thoughts to create confusion, derision, turmoil in your mind that you're wrestling with fear and torment. You're wrestling with confusion. You can't think clearly. I command right now that that attack of the enemy be broken off of you. I renounce right now every spirit that would come against you to torment you in your mind. Every lie, every false accusation, every demonically inspired idea, every voice of deception be broken right now. I renounce you right now. I use the weapon of truth. I command the breastplate of righteousness to be placed upon me. I command the peace of Jehovah God of Israel to be upon me. I take the shield of faith right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Child, rise up with the armor that God has given you. Child, rise up with the power that God has given you and the authority that He's given you in His name. Realize that you have, according to Luke chapter 10, verse 19, power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any abohobo korabashanda, nothing shall by any means hurt you. 
I decree and declare whatever attack of the enemy has come against you, whatever serpent, whatever scorpion, whatever deadly thing, that nothing shall by any means hurt you, that you have the power to decree and declare with tongues of confession that no deadly thing shall come against you. No scorpion, no adder, no viper, no demon spirit, no tormenting spirit can come against you to harm you. If there is a demon spirit there that's come against you, guess what? Only one-third of the angels fell. Two-third of them didn't fall. There's a two-to-one ratio for good. Realize if there is a principality or a power against you that there are angels and principalities of good that are around you. Kingdom of God all around you. Angels all around you. The Bible says that the angels encamp round about them that fear Him. And you fear the Lord and you have made Him your God. The name of the Lord is is a strong tower the righteous runneth into it and is safe the name of the lord is our refuge he is our shield and our buckler the name of the lord is our defense the bible says that it's not by might nor by power but by his spirit saith the lord of hosts the bible says in first timothy chapter 6 verse 12 fight the good fight of faith lay hold on eternal life whereunto you are called and you have professed a good profession before many witnesses realize that you have the power to bind and loose the bible says in Matthew chapter 18 verse 18 through 20. Verily I say unto you whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name there am I in the midst of them. Right now I bind and rebuke every attack of the enemy that's tried to come against my brothers and sisters right now. Every attack of the enemy that's tried to come against their flesh to hurt them, to harm them, every attack of the enemy that's come against their mind to create confusion, derision, turmoil that has caused a lack of peace, a lack of faith, a lack of belief in Jesus Christ that has stolen hope, that has stolen joy. I command every attack that is against them right now under the sound of my voice. I command you to be broken right now. I bind and rebuke you in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I say be loosed right now. Be loosed right now. Be loosed right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command you to be loosed right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May every attack that has come against you be renounced and broken in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command every principality that's come against you to be broken. I command every sickness that's come against your body to be broken right now. I command every attack of the enemy that's come against you to be broken right now. I break every assignment of the enemy. I break every enemy's attack attack that's come against you right now. I command your body to be healed. I command your mind to be healed. I command your emotions to be healed right now. The Bible says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. The Bible says in James chapter 2 verse 19, You believe that there is one God, you do well. The devils also believe and tremble. I come against every diminished. I come against every demonic principality right now and say there is only one God and every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. I command right now that the one God that we serve, that we know, that we love, that we live for be against every demonic principality right now. I bind and rebuke every attack of the enemy right now. I command every attack of the enemy that's come against you would flee before you seven ways. I command every attack of the enemy that's come against you that every enemy would be put in derision. Every demonic principality that's come against you with no authority, no power, no right, no dominion. Every rebel holder of authority. I command when that attack comes against you that it would flee before you seven ways. Even right now by the unction of the Holy Ghost, may the enemy begin to fight his own self. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command it. There was a woman with a spirit of divination that followed Paul around, and he became grievously vexed in his soul. And he turned around and he said to that spirit of divination, he said, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of her, come out of her. And I command that attack right now to be broken off of you. I break that attack off of you. I command right now that attack be broken off of you. I break that attack off of you right now. By the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, just as Paul resisted that demon spirit of divination, so I resist it off of you. Every soothsaying spirit that's come against you, I bind it and I rebuke it right now in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. I command that every attack that has come against your mind be broken, be loosed, 
Be loosed right now. Be loosed right now in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command every attack that has come against you to be renounced right now. I say be loosed right now. Be loosed right now. Be loosed right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I say right now according to Psalms chapter 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor by the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet because he has set his love upon me therefore will I deliver him I will set him on high because he has known my name he shall call upon me and I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will deliver him and honor him with long life I shall satisfy him and show him my salvation the Bible says in John chapter 10 verse 10 the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy but Jesus came that you might have life and have it more abundantly and right now I decree and declare life and life more abundantly over you I rebuke every lie of the enemy that's told you you don't deserve it that you sinned too much and you did too much evil that you walked a road of iniquity and sin and you never knew God I decree and declare right now that he came not to condemn the world but that he might save the world. I decree and declare right now that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Father, right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every person that's listening to this prayer right now, I command right now by the unction of the Holy Ghost that every life sustaining ability would come into their body right now, that their muscle cells would be healed, that their blood would be healed, that their liver would be healed, their kidneys would be healed, their memory brains would be healed, that their body would be healed from the top of their head to the sole of their feet and every attack of the enemy that's come to destroy would be broken right now, be broken right now, be broken right now in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the Holy Ghost I command you to be healed child, I command your body to be healed, I command your mind to be restored, I command the authority of the Holy Ghost of Jesus to touch you and saturate your body from the inside out from the top to the bottom right now I command the Holy Ghost to loose you to loose you to be loosed right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I loose you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I command oh Shanda. I command right now in the Holy Ghost that your mind be loosed that your body be liberated that your mind be freed that your soul be touched right now I feel a breaking in the Holy Ghost right now y'all I feel the Holy Ghost doing a work right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth what shall we say to all of these things if God is for you then who can be against you who is he that condemneth it's Christ that died yea rather that is risen again and even is at the right hand of God our Father he maketh intercession for us I say who will separate you from the love of Christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword as it is written for thy sake we are killed all the day long we are accounted as 
sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things you are more than a conqueror through him that loved you. Can I tell you that he died on the cross for you? Can I tell you that he took the whip marks upon his back for you? May I tell you that he shed his sinless blood on Calvary for you? Can I tell you that when he said it is finished, it was finished and the price has been paid. There's no curse you need to walk under anymore. You can be liberated and freed. You can be separated from your sins and delivered. You can walk free of condemnation. You can walk free of all the pain of your sorrow. You can walk free from all the pain of your past. You can walk in a covenant relationship right now and know that Jesus Christ is your mediator. He is your high priest. He is your covenant keeper. When you can't even keep your end of the bargain, he's there doing what you cannot do. When you look back over your life, you're going to realize that all those lonely times was when he was having to carry you because you didn't even have the strength to walk. I'm telling you right now by the Holy Ghost, Jesus is in your life moving, working, breathing. He is doing a work right now, child. I feel the unction of the Holy Ghost right now. There's a Holy Ghost fire that's getting ready to move in your situation. That's getting ready to break every hindrance, break every roadblock. You're going to be able to leap over a wall and run through a troop. You're going to raise up on wings as eagles. You're going to be able to say like you have never been able to say, yea, thus saith the word of the Lord, I found new strength in me and I'm going to do what I haven't been able to do before. I command every attack of the enemy to be broken right now. I command every hindrance I feel right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, every person that's struggling with something wrong in the eyes, pain behind the eyes, degenerative disease in the eyes, and they're losing their vision. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command the optical nerves to be healed. I command every degenerative disease of the eyes be thou healed right now in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth every demonic attack that has come against their voice to steal their voice to cause pain in their throat where they can't pray and they can't minister right now I break it off of them right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I command the attack of their prayer life be broken I command the attack against their preaching be broken the attack against their testimony be broken right Right now, in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, I command that name that is above every name. Break every attack of the enemy right now. I command every attack of the enemy be broken right now. I command every attack of the enemy be broken. Be loosed right now. 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 In the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command you, be loosed right now. Be loosed right now. Be o mahashadaye. I command every cancer cell be renounced right now. I command every cancer cell that is in your body right now to be broken right now. I break every cancer cell. I command you to be loosed from cancer. I command cancer to loose its hold on you. I bind and rebuke the spirit of cancer. I command you to loose this child of God right now. I command you to loose them in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ of Nazareth. I bind and rebuke the spirit of cancer. I bind and rebuke the spirit of torment. And I command you to loose them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command diabetes to be broken. I rebuke diabetes in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command every demon spirit of diabetes be rebuked right now. Every person that is struggling with type 2 diabetes, type 1 diabetes, I command you to be healed right now in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command diabetes to be rebuked right now. I command you to be delivered and set free right now. I command every demon spirit that's tried to come against your blood level, your blood sugar. I bind and rebuke you in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth right now. I command you to be loosed right now. I pray over eyes again. Every eye disease, I renounce you and rebuke you and bind you right now. I command every person that's listening to me, be loosed right now. Be loosed right now. I command every degenerative bone disease, be renounced and rebuked right now. I bind you right now 
in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command you to be broken right now in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to be broken. I rebuke every demonic demon spirit that's trying to come against you right now. Every voice of darkness, every demon of depression right now. I bind and rebuke you right now. I bind and rebuke you right now in the authority of the Holy Ghost. I bind and rebuke you right now. Every demon spirit of depression and discouragement, I break you. I break you right now. I break you right now. I break you in the authority of the Holy Ghost, God of Israel. I break you. I break you right now. In the Holy Ghost, I break you. I command you to be loosed right now, child of God. Hear me right now. I feel a breaking right now. I feel a breaking right now. In the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost. I feel a breaking right now. I feel a breaking. There's been a loosening. Somebody's got a hold of this prayer. Somebody's let it get past their mind and it got in their heart and it got in their spirit. Somebody's quickening the word in their heart and they're realizing that something has changed. Every demonic hold that's been against them has been broken right now. Every demon spirit that's been against them be broken. Every hindering spirit right now, you've been broken in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command you to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be broken. Be loosed. Be loosed. Be loosed. Be loosed. I take authority over every principality and over every ocean. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you to be loosed in the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. I command you to loose in Jesus' name. Every debilitating disease that's been against your liver, I break every liver disease right now. I break every kidney disease right now. I break every intestinal disorder right now. I command you to be healed right now. I command you to be delivered and set free right now. I command every debilitating disease in the intestinal order be healed right now. I loose you. Be loosed in the name of Jesus. Be loosed in the name of Jesus. Be loosed in the name of Jesus. I feel still in my spirit about discouragement. I still feel in my spirit about depression. I command right now depression be lifted. Depression be lifted off of every mind right now. You're, you're coming against a child of God right now. I speak into you right now. You spirit of discouragement and depression right now. I command right now that the Holy Ghost would penetrate into the core being of this individual right now. I bind and rebuke the spirit of depression right now. You haven't been able to function and operate like normal right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I loose you from this spirit of depression. I command that healing come into your mind. That peace come into your mind. I command everybody, let your body be renewed, your mind be renewed, your soul be renewed. I want you to inhale a deep breath right now. Inhale a deep breath of the Holy Ghost virtue and power as the Holy Ghost comes into your body, comes into your mind, comes into your spirit. Let the Holy Ghost come in. Take in a deep breath and then expel it. Let it go. Come on, I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to inhale a deep breath right now. And breathe it out right now. We're going to do it again. Take in a deep breath. Holy Ghost, come in. Holy Ghost, come in right now. Where there's been hurt, where there's been pain. Holy Ghost, come in and heal us. Heal us, Holy Ghost. Heal us. I expel every hurt, I expel every sickness, I expel every disease. I renounce it, I come against it, I bind its effects against us right now. I say be loose, child. Now some of you I'm going to know right now, I already feel there's been a loosening. There's been chains broken, there's been deliverance come. I know I got a little wound up today, y'all, but I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. You're being loose right now. Just relax in the Holy Ghost. Allow your heart to open. Allow your mind to open right now. Be set free. Be the little bohoshanda. Be delivered even right now in the Holy Ghost right now.
Take a deep breath right now. Take a deep breath. Inhale peace and tranquility in the Holy Ghost. Inhale peace and tranquility in the Holy Ghost right now. Be healed and delivered even right now. Be healed and delivered and set free even right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Holy Ghost, come upon each and every one of us right now, Holy Ghost. Let there be a confirmation. Let there be a warm sensation. Start from the top of their head to the sole of her feet. Oh, my darling. I love you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I love you. I feel great deliverance has come. There's been so much virtue taken out of me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you be healed, delivered, and set free in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, everybody, for following me on this video. Thank you, God. There's been great deliverance come. There's been handfuls on purpose sent out for you. There's been basketfuls of deliverance and provision coming for you. Be set free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I love you. I appreciate you. God bless you if you've enjoyed this video. If you've enjoyed listening to this, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want. Give a bell notification. There's going to be more videos coming. Thank you for those that have offered comments. Thank you for those that have called me. Thank you for those who have sent me text messages. I love and appreciate you. We're serving one God together. We're living for one kingdom and we're sacrificing our lives for God. We're doing this together in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be set free. I love you. I love you. I thank you for praying for me. And I'm praying for you too. I love you.